Hello, my peeps. <laughs> Tracy Stewart here. Your friend in the neighborhood paper pusher. And, uh, I have done some mental gymnastics and I have figured out what I did and why. So, instead of trying to write this all on a piece of paper, I'm going to explain it to you and then I will have the piece of paper that goes with it with the actual measurements on it. So here is my adorable little, these bees are so adorable. This adorable, this was my fancy note card holder and the black paper on my desk is making it very hard to see the edge of. There we go. So this is the one where it had the little pockets in it, right? So I had done this um, and it's all one piece, right? These, I folded these up and the whole thing. So as I'm writing out the measurements from my original <laughs> drawing here, this is all making sense, but something else is not jiving for how this worked out. So I thought, okay, I did something to it afterwards. Like I obviously did that and then did something. And I can tell that I've split the spine here. <laughs> so I have been staring at it and going, what the heck did I do? So I made a new one. And I figured out the answer to those questions <laughs> by making a new one. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This is what it looks like when you take the paper, because you're starting with uh, 10 by seven and a quarter. So this is the piece of paper that you start with. And you need it to be this size because you need these pockets to work the way they do. So I've measured the pockets and it's gonna be the same on either side. So this is the front, the, the spine and the back, and then the pockets are cut the way they are. So I have these two little tabs, which you'll see in the diagram, and then I have the box. Now this is the inside, sorry, I knocked my original. And on the outside, I've got tape. Oops, I guess I could show you the whole thing on those tabs, right? So this is how the boxes go together. We're gonna to fold up this, Pretend I took the tape off. I'm showing you this just to show you why I changed it. So we're going to just tuck those in and that just gives us a little bit of durability and we don't want a little hole. Depending on what you put in there, you just don't want to have a little hole sticking out. So this is what I'm doing. I put, I push the tabs in first and then I've wrapped this box around. There's adhesive here and I'm going to adhere it down like this, right? So I'm going to do that on both of them because this is not glued I have to put this down for a second so I can do this one-handed with one-handed left-handed no less to get the idea so this is what I had done the first time now when you do this and then you fold it in half because I needed I needed the one inch spine to be able to get the pieces that I needed but as you'll notice <laughs> there's a huge gap a ridiculous gap in this thing and this get this spine is never going to hold up with nothing in there like this just isn't going to work and on the sides, this is really long. So this, I mean, you could leave this, but it is going to get bent up a bunch because it is sticking out so far past this. So I realize, because if you look on this one, that is not the case. This one is much closer to the edge of the box. So I realized that what I had done was I did this because that's what I needed to make these boxes work. But then afterwards I decided I didn't like how much extra there was here and how much extra there was in the middle. So once I made the boxes, <laughs> Um, I took the uh, my handy dandy little cutter and this so this is an inch wide and I basically you just got to fold the pieces out of the way so you don't cut them off there we go I basically just cut this in half so now these are two half inch pieces and then I took each one of these which is four and a half and I want it to be four and a quarter and I just trimmed a quarter inch off the edge of either one of these. And so how I'm doing that is I'm using this edge to get my, to figure out where the four and a quarter mark is and cutting it down from four and a half. And again, just kind of tuck those little pieces in so you don't accidentally cut them off. And I just cut a quarter inch off either edge. So now <laughs> it's in, it's a much, more compact, snugger. This is this is closer. These are, and you can, you can feel the difference when you make it up first. It's very floppy. This these edges are like floppy, and you know they're just going to get damaged. And yeah, these two pieces, it can't be as wide as it was. But once you trim it, you get a nice, neat little package. Everybody likes a neat little package. So now I have two pieces, the front and the back, and all I'm going to do, and this is good too, because this will give support to the spine. So structurally, good idea. So let's pop this little piece off. Tuck our little tab in there. Uh, you'll also notice these are all quarter inch little little score lines on here. Um, but oh yeah, and the and the uh, tear and tape. 
Unfortunately, tear and tape is three eighths of an inch wide instead of a quarter inch wide. It would be nice if it was a quarter inch. Um, but once you pull the backing off, you could just sort of like tuck it over. Okay, so put our little tabs in. Oh, you know what I did on the other one? Just so the tabs weren't flopping about. I did put a glue dot on either one of them. Um, but yeah, and, and you, you have the option. If you want to cut those off, actually, you know what? Instead of the glue dot, I will cut them off just to show you. So I'm going to cut them off. I'm just going to cut this tab off. So you have that option. If you're going to leave them, tuck them in for sure. And make sure you adhere them down with the glue dot or glue or something just so they're not in the way. Now, because we're putting cards in here, it's not like anything's going to fall out. But it just, you have like a little thing here, right? So depending on how close you cut your lines, just depends on whether or not you see it. Versus this one, where there's no hole because I, uh, the black you're never going to see. I tucked it in. Anyways, trust me. Okay, so here we go. We've cut the tabs off. So now I'm just folding the, the pieces in. And I am popping up. I'm just, I'm lining up the edge of this box with the score line. So it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to, this one, I'm just going to have to eyeball. I just tuck it under and line it up. And just make sure you don't squish it close because you'll make it too tight for the cards. And then we just adhere the two sides down. So now we have our little pocket. We'll take our little note cards. These ones aren't decorated yet. And so you, you have a little bit of wiggle room in here, but yet now it's a much, much t nicer fit. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Um, I'll cut off the other one, so I guess I'm cutting these ones off too. <laughs> I got the thing upside down. I can't see what I'm doing. Definitely going to have a hole if you cut where you can't see where you're going. I think I keep going off screen. I'm looking down, not at the, at the monitor, so I don't actually keep thinking I'm moving. Okay, so same thing. We're going to take this tear and tape the backing off it hangs over just a little bit and we're just going to fold that over take this one off and fold it over and then fold so you're seeing what i'm doing right this I, i've got now it looks like this and i'm just moving this in and folding it up and i'm pushing so i'm pushing this down to make like the bottom square and then I'm popping in the sides to make the side square. So yeah, it's all one. So you can't, I couldn't make the folio this way because the cardstock, I guess if I, if I had a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, I guess I could have done it. But on eight and a half by 11, the cardstock is not wide enough to make this deep enough to make it work. It was all a math thing. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your two pieces together and unless you're unless you cut perfectly which I do not you want to look at these two halves and line them up you want to be just inside the score line so if I do it this way and I'm doing it off just so you can see like I'm, I want to line them up straight but I'm doing it off just so you can see this one um, you're not going to see a seam on the back this one I cut just slightly shorter so if I do this and I stay inside the seam I'm going to have that little gap I don't know if you can see it right now See if I can get this up far enough. Right? It, it one 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 way is going to work better than the other. I guess is my point. But can you see it? Oops! I'm now I'm way too high. But see the difference there when I lined up the score lines. There, there's a notch. So this one definitely fits better to put this one on the inside. So this is the inside one, and it's slightly shorter. So I'm putting as soon as I find it, I'm putting my tear and tape on the slightly shorter one, just so we make sure we don't have tear and tape sticking out. And uh, I realize in hindsight that putting tear and tape on with before the box is made would have probably been easier. So here's another thing I, I like to do. I like to this because this is the spine. I want to make sure that it holds really well. So this is the width of tear and tape. This is a half inch spine now. Um, but so I, I want to put here's my score line. I want to I want to have it nice and solid. But I can't put two pieces of tear and tape because of the width of it. But I can, if I take this, if I put one down, peel the backing off, and then put the second one over top. I have to do it down here, otherwise I won't be able to make it work. There we go. So that's what I've done. I'm just going to... So I put the first one down, peeled the backing off, put this one over top. So I've got a nice good coverage now 
um, without t taping it to its own backing kind of thing. So yeah, the part where the box is, it's just hard to push on without squishing the box. There we go. So now I'm going to just shimmy this one in. Just make sure you stay so you do not overlap a score line because you want it to fold nicely. Sorry, I just got to Gotta get it where I can actually see what I'm doing. I will show you in a minute once I got it lined up. There we go. So on the outside, you can't see because I picked the bigger one to put on the outside, right? So the seam is right on the edge, so you don't see it. On the inside one, you do see like a little bit of a gap. It's not major. Right there, you can't really see. I can't pick, I don't know what color cardstock other than using two different colors would make this easier to see, but there we go. But now you'll see we got a little closer here. And now when we close this, it closes solid. I think I missed a little. Oh, I just missed pushing the glue down on that end. Because the box is there, I didn't push very hard on it. Oh. Um, and so sometimes if you're trying to get to glue where you can't... Um, I don't know why my camera just went out of focus. I'm trying to figure out how to move my hand forward. Why can't I make this focus? Um, anyways, it was I didn't push down hard enough. So you don't want to squish the things. Um, I was going to say, just rub it back and forth on the table. But now I need to make sure that I can get it back to focus. Anyways, it is it is now assembled. <clears throat> and then you just want to decorate it up. Uh, like I said, this little gap on the inside, you're not going to notice. The outside now looks nice. And now we have a double width on our spine. I got a little smudge on it, but that's okay. Not really sure why I cannot get it back to focus. Let's try something else. Do, do, do. Sorry, the video, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm done telling you what I was going to tell you. It has something to do with what it can see in the background. There we go. I figured out this trick. <laughs> so that is why. Uh, so when I, in my previous post, I wrote that I did some aftermarket modifications. So I'm trying to make sense of my, uh, of my diagram and I'm like, but those aren't the measurements. That's not what I did. What is going on here? I figured out what, as soon as I made the, like cut the first one again, I was like, oh, that's right. Cause this is too wide and this is too wide. And this will hold six note cards. Cause this one's only got four in it and it's kind of floppy and you can see there's room in it still. So this is. This is what that looks like all put together. Um, the drawing is not quite finished. I, I've gotten this far on the drawing. And then I was like, no, i got to figure out what I did wrong. So yes, you'll see all that fancy stuff's at the bottom. So I'm going to draw this diagram. Let's keep going off screen. I'm going to draw this diagram. Show all the fanciness at the bottom, all the right measurements for where you, where you cut and where you score. And uh, I think on the one that I draw, I'm just going to tell you to cut the tabs off. Because it will make it much easier in the end. And then it will say, cut in half down the spine, trim a quarter inch off the edge. I'll write optional for the quarter inch off the edge, because I guess that is totally optional. Um, and then, yeah, depending if you don't cut those pieces off, then obviously the matting is not going to work. But I'm going to put it down as, as how I made this one, because I think it works much better with the shorter profile. So there you go. Here's the finished one. I, you know I'm making something with bees on this one because I'm kind of addicted to the bees right now. But yeah, there we go. And then I will put the proper measurements for how to make the this thing in the middle. The, the, the layers and everything in the middle as well. All right. Thanks, everybody. I hope that makes more sense. And uh, sorry for the delay on getting those out. But this one confused me and it slowed me down a bit. Um, happy Saturday night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we will talk to you next week. Thanks.